Ever since Ian Herbert released Dynamo Dream episode 1, I was too obsessed with world building in Blender. So after many trials and errors, I built this world. This video is the breakdown tutorial of this scene. So I first start by gathering some references. I visited Ian Herbert art station profile and then shamelessly copy and paste his renders in PureRef. Then I open Blender and start by modding a low poly map for scene by adding a bunch of cubes and cylinders. This helps me get the basic idea for the scene. Now it's time to model everything. For making buildings, I add a cube and scale it up. Then in the edit mode, I add loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. Then select the alternate face tips by holding Alt and Shift key. And using extrude normal tool, extrude them in outward direction. Then assign a new material to these faces. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the selected face and assign other new material to them. For outer strips, I added the image texture and with the help of UV unwrapping, unwrapped it over the selected image. For the inner portion, I have assigned image texture output connected to the transparent BSDF and glossy BSDF, which is further mixed together via mix. To select the appropriate image texture and using cube projection, unwrap it perfectly over the building. Once we are done with this, go to texture panel and select blend mode to alpha blend and also enable back culling to add the transparency. Now simply add the point light inside the building and crank up the strength. And in render view, we got this. In the similar manner, I modeled this different bunch of buildings. For some buildings, I use mirror modifier to mirror it along the x axis and y axis for getting some different kind of results. Also I added a bunch of houses below by using the same technique. For that, first add a cube and shape it accordingly. Then I add the image texture and select any appropriate image. Once that is done, do cube projection in mesh and UV unwrap it. Then add some loop cuts near the window and assign a different material. It's the same type of material we have made previously for the building but with a different image. Enable alpha blend and add a point light inside and we get this. I also did a bunch of posters which are basically planes with the UV unwrapped image assigned as the emission texture and place them at different places in the scene. Also we need to model a bridge for the railway track in the scene. For that, add a plane and use extrude tool to extrude them accordingly. Then select the bottom two edges and bevel them. We also need to add pillars which are basically made of cube and cylinder and do the further geometry change. Further I add railings which are basically cylinders scaled up over the particular axis and using mirror and array modifier I create more instances of it on both sides. In the end we can join everything together by pressing Ctrl G and use array modifier for creating this long bridge. You may have also noticed the railings and pipes over here. These are nothing but the Bezier curve which I extrude along a particular path. And then in curve panel under geometry simply add some depth. In the similar way, this electric wires have been added. This model is from BlendSwap which I imported as a DAE file. Also I added some text over the building and assigned emission texture to it. Observe the metal holder behind the text. Basically it's a cube on which I added some loop cuts. Then just add triangular face modifier and wireframe modifier and I get this. Well the strain is fairly low poly with an image UV unwrapped over it. But since it is far away from the camera, the details are not going to be noticed. For the windows, I again added loop cuts all over and assigned a new emission node with the emission input as the image and the strength input as the real image. Then I add some animation to the tree. For lightning, I use basic area light and point light. Then I added some keyframes to the camera and also I add noise modifier for getting the handheld camera motion. For adding some smoke to the scene, I added a bunch of planes with this foggy material. This is basically this image texture whose output is connected to the color ramp. Then I use multiply node to increase the white color intensity and connect the output to the FAC of the mix shader node. The first input of the mix shader is the transparent BSDF for making the black portion transparent and the other is the default principal BSDF for the white color of the smoke. And in this manner, I got this foggy smoke. Finally, these are my render settings for the rendering and then I simply render the animation. So that's how I made this scene in Blender. Now since I don't have much experience in world building, there may be some point where I do something in the wrong way. So if you have better solution, feel free to tell in the comment section below. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. That's all for now, see you in the next one.